penicillin, penicillin. ethanol, flour, sugar, glue, whiskey, corn silk, starch, oil, livestock feed, all from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper. And to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch. History of mankind, technology has evolved from one generation to another, helping man to improve on its efficiency, reduce costs, as well as minimize waste. However, how can businesses continue to leverage these advantages in building a sustainable business? Good afternoon. Welcome to the second session titled Embracing technology for sustainable business. I would also be inviting very distinguished um, speakers to do justice to this topic. My name is Anne Okadike. But before I do that, I would like to welcome our keynote speaker, who would also take time um, to discuss this topic extensively. Rather than talk about her, I would like you to show and watch more around her. Welcome, Ola Tomiwa. Thank you so much for taking out the time to be here. I think your mic is muted. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's my pleasure. Same here. It appears that we would be leveraging a lot of the issues that were discussed in the first Absolutely. session. Absolutely. In this hour session, including the great resignation and the rest of that. Um, however, we would go ahead and please take your keynote presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, good morning, or good, after, good evening, wherever you're watching us from. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's my pleasure to be here, and I'm really excited about the conversation that has been happening uh, since the beginning of this uh, event. It's great to see a number of distinguished speakers talk about driving business in Nigeria in a sustainable manner and what has been resonating especially around how can we remain competitive is around is technology and today I have the privilege of discussing with us uh, embracing technology for business sustainability uh, this is a very important topic uh, because of where we are in the world today uh, a lot of us know I mean the impact and the lessons from COVID-19, it has taught us that transformation is really important to disruption. And we will continue to face disruption all the time. And if you move, please, can you move to the next slide? So um, I said earlier on about the fact that we are living in a different world today, different from where we were even three years ago. A lot of organizations uh, that did not embrace technology prior to COVID 
struggled to keep abreast of, um, of what is happening in the world. And now that COVID is going, and I think we are in a post-COVID era, there's the impact of COVID is still in our reality today because it has changed the way we work, the way we play, the way we relate with each other. Um, most of us wouldn't have been in this forum today, probably due to one reason or the other, probably due to traffic or you know traveling. But because of technology, we're able to connect irrespective of where we are. And we're also seeing increasing complexity around the microeconomic environment that is impacting everyone globally. With the Russian and Ukraine conflict, there is a lot of impact on the economic outlook globally and it's affecting us in Nigeria, even though we're not directly you know, involved in that in terms of inflation and the supply chain constraint from China is also impacting a lot. And I think from the previous uh, discussions, we've seen a lot being said on that and how things that are happening globally have potential to impact the local ecosystem. So how do we think differently on how to leverage technology to mitigate these challenges? When we talk about challenges, it also provides a lot of opportunity. And if I want to borrow from the, the word of Microsoft uh, CEO Satya Naidella, during COVID, one of the statements he made is that we have seen two years worth of digital transformation just in two months. And this is possible because of technology, because uh, COVID forced a lot of organizations to see the reality and the impact that technology can have even in disruption, even when we are experiencing disruption and ability to leverage technology to quickly innovate. For example, for us in, in Microsoft, we had to shut down all our stores. So for uh, all the orderings are done in store in, in online and where it's possible, we have to do stores. There's contactless shopping, remote selling. A lot of organization adopted virtual events. Um, most of the events that we have in person now has gone virtual and people are okay with that. Their learning ha had gone virtual in most of the organizations and we have hybrid learning scenario. There's Telemedicine is taking a lot, a lot of attention because now people trust uh, that their technology to, to actually also connect with their, their doctor or medical practitioner. We can see a lot of remote uh, secure teamwork happening uh, today in different organizations. And remote development, even uh, we see people working from different walks of life on the same uh, development environment, working remotely. So there's li no lim limitation from um, digital bar physical barrier. So there's so many th changes that have happened, but the reality is not all organizations are in the same level of uh, embracing digital transformation. So today, when we're talking about that, we see that, that example did show us a lot of things. One is the rate at which transformation is happening that we need to be uh, abreast of. And secondly, the threat of not transforming, transforming. And if you go to the last slide, I really love the caption because that the only thing that is harder than transformation itself is failing to transform. And I want to put some context that with all the challenges, the threat that you know, we see today, um, that majority of companies that had existed in the past that are no longer existing today, I think PO did mention Kodak, a lot of organizations that we know that were existing that did not transform, that are no longer existing today. That threat is still happening right now. And at a much faster and larger scale because of the situations in that businesses operate today. But that is not the complete story. There is still a lot of opportunity that is available to businesses to leverage by adopting digital transformation. 
based on research, over three 100 trillion opportunities still exist worldwide. And if you bring it home in context into Africa uh, and Nigeria, yes, we have infrastructural challenges, we have a resource constraint, but we still have the opportunity to leapfrog by leveraging technology because we don't have the legacy of, you know, um, uh, all the technologies that other developed countries have invested in. So it's a huge opportunity for us. And we also have the opportunity to leapfrog because right now barrier to entry into technology is very is, is, is very low with cloud uh, technology, with mobility, with you know the penetration and increasing penetration of connectivity across Africa and in Nigeria. But to take advantage of technology is not just about looking at I want to acquire technology for my business because most organizations that have gone into adoption of technology in that way miss the opportunity to transform their business. So if you go to the next slide, it's not just about um, company focusing on acquiring technology because a lot has been said about technology today that look for you to really continue to transform and remain relevant you need to take on technology you need to embrace technology these are great is a great starting point but beyond just embracing technology there the end point is how do you use technology to transform your business to deliver compelling customer experience because that's what will keep the business growing. And compelling business experience is not just only about what you can do within your organization. How can you leverage partners? How can you leverage existing infrastructure that can help you to scale up quickly? And I'll give examples of how Microsoft is actually helping customers globally to leverage technology to transform their business. For us, we look at it in four pillars and I'll spend uh, some time to dig deeper into that uh, as, uh, to, so that we can give those contexts. One of the pillars is what we call engage your customers. What does this mean? It means that business need to build stronger engagement by harnessing data that will give predictive insight that can deliver personalized services to customer at scale, because this is what will drive customers to continue to leverage your organization as a preferred platform. So when thinking about technology, you need to think about how do you use existing data? And PO mentioned the use of data earlier on, but this data needs to also be transformed in a way that will help you to engage customer. And the next thing that we spoke about also is about empowering employee. Technology is not just within an organization and it will just make everything work. Employee needs to be empowered to understand how to leverage technology to collaborate in a way that will drive productivity, mitigate risk and provide freedom for employee to work from any, every, anywhere. Today, we see a lot of employee uh, uh, talent that want to work in organization that gives them that flexibility. And how do you, the next one that I also want to touch on is optimizing operations. How do you optimize op your operation? Leveraging technology is all about looking at, you know, real time analytics of your solution of your data to introduce new improvement. So for example, you see customers um, declining with data and technology. Why are these customers dropping? What is driving that? Analytics is a technology that can give you that view. And as you leverage technology, you need to think about it in how you're leveraging it to transform your business. But all of this cannot happen without making specific changes. And I love the conversation that happened earlier on around culture transformation it on depends a lot on culture so for for example the culture of looking at innovation from technology point of view just to acquire technology is not just the basis we don't get any of the changes uh, to stick if our, our employee don't em 
embrace technology. So if you have technology in your organization and your, em your employees are not using technology, and this has to be driven by the top. So top management needs to let the people know that technology is something that is important to them. But, and understanding that skilling employee to be able to leverage technology is also very important. There are so many customers that have purchased uh, te uh, technology solutions, deploy them, and they're not in use because employees are not skilled to leverage that technology. And you also need to think about how do you define success? A lot of organizations look at, I want to buy, acquire technology, and once we buy technology, we are fine. But what does technology want to do for your business? So to define success in, we are investing in X, amount, uh, X uh, technology. For example, we want to acquire Azure, maybe to, for, to host our data center. But what will it translate to in your business? because you are spending money on technology to provide business outcome for, for you. And that would determine the delivery, what are the resources that you need within your organization? How do you also partner and ensure that technology aligns to business? For some of us that ask a lot of questions around, uh, you know, I want to start a business. I need to know how do I get into that? I would like to share something that we do to support organization. Today, uh, Microsoft have an organization called African Transformation Office. And part of the mandate is to support businesses in Africa to leverage technology to transform their business. And for us to ensure that this is done, is we provide a platform called Microsoft Founders Hub, where startups can actually go into to request for Microsoft technology to start their business. So I think someone was asking a question in the previous uh, session on, oh, how do I get investment? Some of the time, yes, the investment is required, um, but the early stage is how do you also think about starting your business with technology in mind? and leveraging technology to start to start off from leveraging technology. So this is what the Microsoft standard, uh, Startup Hub can provide. For example, the gentleman that asked questions around, I'm in oil industry and I have, um, I'm thinking about leveraging technology to start my business. This is one channel that you can actually use. And beyond having access to uh, Microsoft technology, we also provide mentoring uh, business mentoring to, to people that are enrolled on that platform. We provide access to venture capital uh, list that we have partnership with depending on the stage of your uh, startup business. So, that, but all of this is good, but when you have the right culture, uh, looking at structuring your skilling engagement and how you define success for your business, that's what will make it to work for you. So what does the future of work look like? It's really more around optimizing, uh, how to optimize your environment to exploit intelligence in a creative manner. We are talking about limited resources, but that actually gives us opportunity to be super creative in how we do that. There are a lot of existing uh, platforms that you can actually start off from. You don't need to start off from the very beginning. And this is why technology is actually an enabler in that sense. And when you're thinking about your business, don't think about it anymore in terms of, you know, this is the times uh, that people need to spend here with me or employee needs to, uh, to sp spend with me. Unbound by time and space, Look at how can you also make sure that your business does not only, you know, service Nigeria ecosystem because with technology, businesses can actually be made available anywhere globally. And quantify by value, not hours. There are so many conversations that had happened on talent, how they want to be, you know, uh, how they, what their expectation from employee especially new businesses needs to start thinking about 
how can I get some time from talent rather than trying to spend a lot of money at keeping a talent for a long time? What is important is the delivery and the impact of the talent that will be working in your organization, not the amount of time they sit down in the office, you know, working for you. And optimize where employees are best. Uh, and this is also very, very important in the gig economy that we are. If you know someone have this skill, you don't need to, you know, hire them, but they can actually provide that service for you on a, you know, on a retainership uh, level. And organizations also need to think about less hierarchical and more collaborative way of engaging. There are so many changes that need to happen for transformation to take place. For us at Microsoft, for example, you, it's not just about your level within the organization, it's the ideas that you have. So sometimes it could be depending on how big your organization is, you can do hackathon, you can create a forum where people will provide ideas to provide flexibility and able to contribute meaningfully to your organization. So what um, is the recommendation for, for us? Despite the uncertainty that we have seen today, there is so many opportunity um, that we can actually leverage with technology. It's important that you establish relationship with a trusted cloud provider. Gone are the days where you need all the resources, financial resources to acquire infrastructure. With cloud solution, it's possible to start today even as zero investment in technology because you have the opportunity to do a trial probably for a 30 day period and start building your capabilities. I've mentioned earlier on the uh, startup hub that Microsoft uh, have open and also this we and these are the ways that businesses can start and know your customer profile. You know, when you don't know your customer profile, there are a lot of trial and errors that we go into, you know, acquiring technology to fit into, to, to deliver results that does not necessarily align to your business or your customer expectation. So it's important that you know your customer, their behavior, their profile, because that is what we go into, how you want to leverage technology to reach them in a way that will be beneficial both to your organization and to your customer and pick the experience where you have a right to win. You don't need to do everything at the same time. There's so many, uh, you know, hubs out there that have already established a uh, platform where you don't have expertise. There's nothing wrong in partnership or even outsourcing. It's really ways to ensure that you're limiting your out of pocket spend on either technology or even, you know, starting off on a new business and build on those experiences as you go along. And, you know, we have, you need to continue to enhance your partner ecosystem to support the experience that you have. Uh, there's so many ISV solutions also that are also available online that you can try out before you can say, oh, this is what I need, or this is what I want for my business. And technology does not necessarily have to fit in 100% to your existing business model you need to have an open mind to look at how to explore new business model that technology can help you to achieve. For example, we're talking about, you know, A, B, and B today, we're talking about Uber. These are people that think about business model that technology enables to drive new ways of us, you know, moving from one place to another or, you know, getting um, uh, accommodations. So, be, be mindful of all of this and think through on how you can change your business model to ensure that business, uh, technology is actually delivering results for your business. Before I leave, I want to reiterate again the importance of digital transformation. Digital transformation is really critical for any organization. It's not, it's not about size. Whether you are starting today or you've been in business for a long time, or you're thinking of you know, expanding your business, it is important to think about how to leverage technology to transform your business. Don't think in form of, I want to acquire technology. Think in form of, how is this technology going to help me to drive a positive business outcome that I desire? 
And knowing that organization can't transform without their people. People transformation is very, very important. You need to take a deliberate effort to transform your people in form of skilling, reskilling, or even hiring you know, new talent to help your organization leverage technology better. Or, you know, I'll source some of the engagement to partners that know how to do them best that would deliver more value to your organization. And culture, culture is really important and it has to be driven from the top. Whether it's a, you know, big business or small business, digital culture is very important and people need to start thinking digital in a more digital in whatever business you want to do. So starting a business or you know bringing in a new form of business, part of the strategy should be how do we start thinking about using technology to drive this business? Not until we've started and we are now realizing that, oh, now we need technology. So it's very important to have that cultural uh, shift, mind, mindset shift, and skilling is really important. When thinking about technology, and acquisition of technology in your organization. You also need to think about, can my people or the resources at my disposal be able to use this technology to deliver the results? If not, you need to ensure that skilling program is part of your strategy to learn that. And it's important for leaders or owners of business to get educated on technology. Because I see a lot of time where business owners, once they talk about technology, they'll say, oh, go talk to my IT people. I, I don't know anything about technology. But the reality is we all use technology every day. So everyone needs to have an idea of how technology is being leveraged in their business, be interested in knowing what technology is, being used in your organization, how it's being used and how that is translating to business outcome. That way it will help to reduce a lot of, you know, waste in terms of purchases that does not align with business organizations, transformation, as well as ensure that there is a lot of value in the, in the investment that you make in your uh, technology purchases. So um, I think it's, it's really an interesting time that we're in. There are so many challenges, but there is a lot of opportunity when we do the right thing and talk to the right people, make the right partnership, right, have the right strategy, and you know the opportunities are enormous. Thank you very much.